Hey guys, what's going on? It's JCW Gamer here. I'm doing this video like one day late because I wanted to make sure everything was out because they did like release a lot of stuff like all throughout the day. So they could have dropped something like one minute be before midnight. The last of us day was yesterday, obviously. It wasn't the best day in the world considering the stuff they dropped they do anyway i'll show you what i mean if we head on to naughty dog's twitter now there we go i can already see something here so this guitar here was announced on september the 18th and people looked at it it's got 3.4k likes people must be like oh that's so sick Yay! But little did they know that it was going to be announced on The Last of Us Day. I mean, if you were going to sell that, you know, on The Last of Us Day, why not show this on the actual day itself? There's probably some other stuff here which they already announced which you could get right now. Here we go, this pop figure here. I'm pretty sure the Joel one was announced yesterday. Why not show this on The Last of Us Day if you're going to show stuff? Like, there'll be more stuff to show and maybe not everyone will be too disappointed. For a start, uh, they tweeted this out. Tomorrow seems a bit far away. How about we start dropping some? I can't speak. How about we start dropping some hashtag The Last of Us Day updates today? Why would they do that? Because I'm not gonna lie, the stuff they showed two days ago, like the day before The Last of Us Day, September the 25th, was probably better than the stuff they actually showed on the day itself. If we scroll above this Joel GIF here, you get a link to some of the items. I'm just gonna say it now. All it is is merch. The September the 25th and September the 26th. It's just all merch. If we go on this website here, it talks about the soundtrack which was also announced on September the 26th. I swear, most of the stuff they showed early, they repeated on the day itself to make it seem like there's more stuff. The Last of Us board game is in development. Cool, no idea what it's gonna be. Why anyone would be uh, Abby, I don't know. Uh, so this statue looks pretty cool, but it's actually from a different design than this one here, which I really want, but it's not worth 300 quid. It's actually more than that. This Lee and Clementine statue, right, was a hundred and something. I would say it's reasonable. This wasn't the one we were meant to get. I mean, we were meant to get another one one, a better one than this design, but I think they are actually remastering it now because they can't just let it slide. It's been like a year now and they were meant to give us the design that they actually showed us. It's the same pose and all that, the actual same statue, but it doesn't look as great. I'll show you what I mean. I'll show you what I mean. Instead of actually redesigning the actual thing that they advertise, I don't know why they just give us in the first, but I'm glad they didn't now because we're going to get two different statues. I think this statue here, probably going to sell it st separately. This is for the people that got the definitive edition, the collector's edition. I got the Guardian pack, right? So this is the statue that they're going to be given to us for free, considering the first one wasn't the best. So the design that we were going to get, we're going to get with this new statue. I prefer this. It's season 4 Clementine with Lee. I don't know what season Lee it's going to be, like the one with him on the train in season four the classic lee it wouldn't look right probably it'd probably be the season four lee which we saw in the design we were meant to get the statue we've got here but anyway here we've got some different designs there's like one of her looking down with marlon's bow marlon's bow she's just standing straight with it i think we just saw that one and there's one also, also one here with a knife i don't know if this is official it's on skybounds it must be this isn't the final design hence why lee looks a bit like bill from left at dead so it's him holding his knife and cleaver from episode five in season one don't know if we'll see the bite mark on his arm because because of spoilers uh, and then you've got Clem holding a knife which she's always holding like Ellie does throughout the games so yeah I, I prefer the one with Marlin's bow the one where she's looking down actually that would be sick yeah I'm not fan of the knife design because Lee, Lee doesn't have his cleaver in this one and I'm pretty sure he's ha in the game he has to have his cleaver it doesn't have to have the knife though so that don't really make sense but it looks cool though I, I like the brick wall between them obviously the statue here isn't going to be canon obviously season four Clem didn't get to meet Lee apart from her dream it'd be cool in episode three if instead of them on the train uh, it wouldn't be as emotional or, or if we got to see Lee again they had a fight scene together like this I'll oh, be amazing I guess the statue kind of brings that to life with the Joel and Ellie statue Ellie's holding a sniper rifle Joel's holding a revolver in this Lee's holding a cleaver and knife and Clem's holding Marlin's bow in one of the designs all four of them have different weapons i bloody love that i would, I would love to have both 300 quid it literally looks like the same design as the lee and clem one i've got now i'm looking at it like obviously the faces look better but like the way it, you know the what it's made out of if i did get the statue it'd be cool to have john ellie on one side and then lee and clem on the other with their different weapons if we scroll down here we've got the last of us you can get this by the way now i've got it on my playstation uh, the last of us 2 ending main menu theme uh, it's dynamic by the way so it like it is literally just like the menu from the last of us 2 at the end of the game so anonymous username notification message brand new t-shirt and mug available tomorrow spoilers right so here we go we've got stuff here so everything you see here is pretty much discounted the last of us one was literally free for a month if you missed out on that I'd... okay the last of us dlc left behind is is it stuff like 20 percent off oh this is merch but they're not showing any, any other pictures we'll get onto that because like i said they do repeat most of the stuff we'll see that when we look at tomorrow's stuff 
Oh, here we go. Up to 40% off for the PlayStation Gear Store. That's merch, though. Hosting a Last of Us Day sale with 50% discount. Uh, oh, it ends on September the 28th. Yeah, so fair enough. Okay, and some multiplayer stuff for Factions is on sale as well. I looked, though. I don't think it... No, I looked the day before, didn't I? Oh, no, it started... Oh, oh I don't know why I didn't, I didn't see any discounts on any of the multiplayer stuff. Maybe on the actual games, though, there was. So, photo mode contest, you enter it. If you take some good stuff in-game, you can read it here. Uh, if you get chosen for, like, the best image in-game, you, you win the uh, contest. And you might get a reward or something, or I'm not quite I'm not quite sure about that one. Oh, this is in October. We'll be selecting one winner a week every Friday, starting October the 9th until Friday. Oh, and featuring the winners on Naughty Dog's social media channels, eh? I might enter that, you know. Oh, you gotta be 18 or over there. Okay, fair enough. I wanted to get uh, a Last of Us 2 shirt or something. Here's the thing, most of the stuff, right, I went to buy some stuff yesterday, does not ship to the UK. I think it was only one site, but that one site had the stuff I wanted, like the Joel pop figure. It was the cheapest on there as well. Get it off Amazon, like 30 something quid. Pretty sure the Joel one came out yesterday. The Last of Us is, oh, that's on the same day. Yeah, it's the board game repeating itself, like we already know, and that, the theme. Yeah, it's just... Okay, so stuff is on sale, 50% off the last one, yeah, yeah, DLC, factions, bundles, okay. I'm probably gonna get that, because I, I love factions, I love buying the executions and stuff, and the new weapons, like some weapons you can only get from purchasing. Uh, statue, 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 yeah, 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 No, 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 I don't know what's going on in my head today, by the way, guys, I, I have no idea. What's this, kicks off today, what? I don't think I've clicked on this. It's the exact same thing, isn't it? Yeah, okay. It's the exact same thing. I think there is like a website which actually shows you all the stuff they announced, but I'm just going through their Twitter at this point. This is some YouTubers doing some like uh, permadeath challenges and stuff. Grounded playthroughs. I, I want to be on this. The Last of Us Remastered Factions gameplays. Here we go. It, sh it shows here. That'd be so sick. Like you get YouTubers to fight against each other for this day um, on factions. Like competitive like esports. Yeah, I would love to do I'm not the best at online, but I can't wait for factions too. Speaking of factions too, they announced nothing. Or DLC. I was like, mm. everyone's like, oh, Neil Druckmann confirmed no DLC. No, he confirmed there was no plans for it. They could make some DLC. I really was hoping some factions. I did look at some factions, like, leaked gameplay. The character was, like, glitching through everything. Like, it was just, I can't show you because this video would get taken down. The character was, like, glitching through the, the map and stuff. It was obviously early development. You could see code on screen. I don't know how everything gets leaked for this game. Yeah, The Last of Us Day is here. Yeah, that's the early stuff. Like the, yeah. I remember one of the websites just didn't work. Uh, is it this one? Oh, here we go. Oh, the website's up now. Basically, it wasn't working before. I'm pretty sure. So here we go. We just look. Hey, we just go on this. This is the website I want to look at. So posters. You got some posters there. Looks sick. I do like these two posters, like back to back, Ellie and Abby. Uh, soundtrack you got here. The dynamic theme. Abby cosplay guide. By the way, that, I, I don't know if I mentioned that that theme is free. So is this guide, I'm pretty sure. Trust me, if you went around as Abby, people would not be a fan of you. Ellie, statue, statue of Ellie and Joe. I was looking for one of them not long ago, actually. I'm glad they've actually just got one out, but it's it's so expensive. Shirts and stuff, awesome. Wallpapers, that's free. You can download. I might download that now, actually. Set device, desktop, save image. There you go. I don't know what I just shown in my downloads there. Probably just file names. That's cool. We got more shirts. We got mugs. They said that they were going to show gifts and the board game, which is going to be in, which is in development, which I'm going to get, which I can't wait for. Oh, I was looking for these avatars. Joel's jacket as well, man. I'll leave a link to this website here so you guys can browse everything. But there's like mugs of Joel pop figure and stuff. So, like I think it's one of the which website was it? It didn't deliver to the UK. I think it was this one. Yeah, it was this one. It was PlayStation Gear. If you go to buy something like the Joel figure, for example, add to cart, go to the trolley. I don't remember putting this water bottle in there, even though the water bottle... Okay, whatever. Go and purchase items. Check out as guest. International address, obviously, because I'm not from the US. You put select a country. UK, not there. I saw, like, these new avatars. Like, people had new avatars on my friends list, but I didn't... What do you mean by the game? How do I get the profile pictures? The Last of Us 2 themes and avatars for a free limited time. When you go onto it, it shows you the full game. I'm going to find these profile pictures because I do want these profile pictures. I only pre-ordered the standard edition of the game, so I didn't get the uh, profile pictures which I really wanted. I always keep my Clementine one though from pre-order in season four. And I'm not gonna lie, I think that's pretty much it guys. I've shown you everything. It's just all merch really. I remember like when I made my video on this yesterday, I, I was like, you know what? I just threw in the word merch because I thought it wouldn't all be merch. I was like, well, it could show factions, DLC, Tommy DLC, which everyone wants, TV show news, merch, like I, but no, this is the whole thing, merch. Some stuff isn't merch, like the board game, the theme. This is funny, the community showing up for the last of us day. 
right? The comment section, there's always the next shit. <laughs> Tom, someone said, uh, yeah, it's funny how this is completely wrong. We've been fighting all day. Oh, I actually know that scene when Abby falls off the skyscraper. Is that like, oh, you meant to edit your picture in photo mode as well, like in Photoshop or something. Make it look like cool, like this filter here, black and white. I don't remember the camera going under her though. When she's falling. Mini guitar sold out. This guitar, bro. $2,299 for just like a fictional guitar. You can get a backpack on that PlayStation gear store, but it's just not Ellie's backpack, so. Mm. I've just noticed what I've just read out there. It says it's free for a limited amount of time. So this is free as well, guys. Get yourself an Ellie profile picture. I'll probably put Jesse on. He looks pretty cool. He's a cool character, man. I was just dragging it out for a little bit there because I remember there's something else I was going to say. TV show news. Apparently, you did get a little bit of. Oh, what's his name? What was the guy's name? Uh, Dom the Bomb showed it. I'll, I'll go on his channel real quick so I can find it for you all. Sorry about that. Shout out to Dom, by the way, guys. I'm amazing streamer slash YouTuber. Amazing. I've just forgotten the last name again. I just went on Dom's channel. I can't remember his name. I actually can't remember his name. Right, I'm going back on Dom's channel. Hey, 21.4k subs. Thank you all, everyone. I see my channel trailer has gotten a lot more views, so I feel like a lot of people went on my channel first and then subscribed, which is pretty sick. Craig Mazin. Yeah, he's called Craze. Guys, follow my Twitter. I got a new one because my one got blocked and now it, got it just got terminated. So, you know, follow my new, new Twitter. I put in uh, my... Oh, I need to change my upload default so you guys can follow it. No, no, no. It might be the same because obviously the at is the same, JCW Gamer. These days, all of my days are the Last of Us day. And that's how I like it. People have been asking for updates i can't say much but i can say this we are working hard just like blumhouse studios with the fnaf movie great to hear i can't wait for this and we're getting a walking dead movie as well which is awesome ideas have taken root in our brains and are starting to sprout up and out of our heads they're working hard on it that's all we get that's obvious that's all we're gonna get they're probably announce something big at like a, a big event or something you know or when they can obviously this will to come out next year, along with the FNAF movie, I'm hoping, and the Walking Dead movies. Oh my god. COVID, stop delaying everything, mate. Stop being a thing. But that is literally it, guys. Just merch, nothing big. Factions, I can't wait for. When it does get announced, I will be sweating out the Last of Us 1 factions. I might look at the discounts and stuff. I, I'm going to get these free avatars as well, which I, I need to find. After all these years, I'm still not going to the PS store. But yeah, a lot of this stuff is limited, so, you know, go go ahead and buy something if you're from the US, depending on what store you get. If you're from the United Kingdom and you want to get something from the PS like gear store, I don't think there is a UK one, I, I really don't. It's a bit unfortunate. There's some free stuff for all of us to get, you know, to celebrate this day. I do enjoy The Last of Us too. I don't think it's an awful game, but the story isn't great. You can't deny that the graphics and the gameplay is incredible, very hard and challenging, which is awesome as well. Almost to the point where it's impossible. With all these new difficulties and stuff, challenges. The story does affect your motivation to play the game. So yeah, it's not the best in the world, but other than that, it is an incredible game. Yeah, the story does make up 99% of it. And yeah, that's gonna be pretty much it. Thank you for watching. If you guys did enjoy, don't forget to smack a like on the video. And if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe. Follow my Twitter, it will be in the description below. Twitter, I'm really bad at saying that word. Follow my Twitter and it will be in the description below. Obviously, where else would it be? And you stop saying that. Uh, that's such a 2012 thing to say. Without further ado, guys, please have an amazing morning slash afternoon slash evening slash night. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bro, my hair is so, like, what is going on? What is going on? It's bed air, isn't it? I've literally just woken up. What time is it, you ask? We're not going to talk about that, actually, right? <laughs> Take care. <laughs>